What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a brand new 4K Super UHD TV from LG's 2016 lineup. So big shout outs to LG for making this video happen. And what is awesome is that there's two of these bad boys to give away, so make sure you stick around to see how you can win. There are a lot of TVs out there and it can be really difficult when you're making your buying decision. But I think the brand new 7700 series from LG packs a competitive price and has a lot of features built in. So let's do an overview of this TV and then I'm gonna let you know how this TV is unique from the rest of the bunch out there. First, the presentation is simple. The box is extremely slim by the way and you get the stand, you get some quick start guides and warranty stuff, some audio converter cables, the power plug, and you also get this awesome remote, which we'll go over a little bit more later. The bezels are slim, so it's an attractive TV for sure, but there's no black bezel option, which I personally am a fan of, but regardless, it's a minimalistic, beautiful design. It's a nice and thin TV, and the back is made up of a matte plastic with a honeycomb texture to it. The stand holds it up perfectly and has a clean design, but it's also Visa mount compatible if you want to wall mount it. Ports wise, you get three total USB ports with one USB 3.0 port, three total HDMI all with HDCP 2.2, and one with audio return channel for your audio. You get an optical audio out, the service port, ethernet, AV and component out with the adapters that I showed you earlier, and your standard antenna and cable. It's not the most abundant amount of IOs I've seen, but it will sure do the job with most setups today. The panel itself is where things get special. It's an Ultra HD panel. For those who don't know, this is a resolution of 3840 by 2160 or 4K capable TV, which is four times the resolution of 1080p. This is a quantum and IPS panel with local dimming, which are all buzzwords of course, but basically means that you're going to get deeper contrast, wider color gamut that can reproduce over a billion colors and IPS means that no matter what angle you're watching this TV from, you will get great viewing angles without that washed out look. The picture quality on this 55 inch version that I'm testing is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's a fairly bright panel with great color accuracy, surprising contrast for a non OLED display and it is incredibly sharp. You will love your TV shows and movies on this because even if your content's not in 4K, the TV upscales the content in 4K for a better experience. Now let's get to the reasons why this TV is unique, especially in its price range. HDR or high dynamic range is not new to TVs, but this is the only TV right now to offer both HDR10 support and Dolby Vision. So why is this important? Basically it comes down to a better picture. HDR gives you the experience the content creator is intended for you to have with more vivid and brighter colors, contrast, and more shadow detail. There's an HDR simulation mode on the TV that makes everything look nicer, but when HDR content is being played, you will be blown away. I mean, the difference is incredible. If you want a great example of this, use a slider on the Dolby website to get a good idea. It's absolutely mind blowing. There will be a lot more support coming in the future for HDR, and some content is already available on Netflix like Marco Polo already support HDR. So if you buy this TV, you will get HDR support on both platforms, so you don't have to worry. Second reason is the WebOS 3.0 software and the smart TV capabilities. You don't need a set-top box or anything else to stream from your favorite services like Netflix, Hulu or Vudu because it's all built in with Wi-Fi connectivity. This kind of functionality is available on other TVs, but this kind of software is not. This WebOS interface is the best interface that I've used. And trust me, I have used a lot of TVs from Samsung, Vizio to Hisense, and this is the fastest and easiest to use software in my opinion. This remote has a pointer feature and makes the interface much easier to navigate. And it also has universal control capabilities built in. There is a simple row of apps on the bottom that you can scroll through, and you can also pin your favorite content to this tab on the left-hand side for quick access to your favorite shows or movies. My only gripe is that I wish there was a keyboard or something on the back of this remote, but you can pair your compatible Android smartphone to this TV to make things a little bit easier. There's voice recognition built into the remote and it works well. There is also a full web browser on here. It might not be the fastest browser, but it definitely gets the job done. There's also an LG store where you can get movies, TV shows, and also download more apps. So this gives you the complete package here. I also love the easy switching of the picture profiles. In the shortcuts menu, it's super easy to do and the TV looks great right out of the box. But if you wanna get into some calibration, then go into the expert mode where you can get access to some incredible amount of options for contrast, colors, 
and you can even get access to a 20 point white balance system. So I don't think you'll be disappointed. The third reason is the built-in speakers. They work together with Harman Kardon and the results are pretty good. It's one of the better down firing speaker setups that I've heard. Now most theater enthusiasts will probably get a theater speaker setup or a sound bar of some sort, but for people that aren't bothered and want to use it right out of the box, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, before we finish, we're gonna get into the giveaway portion. So shout outs to LG for giving us two of these to give away to you guys. Entering is extremely simple. All you need to do is make sure you follow LG and myself on Twitter, and then make sure you use this hashtag, Danny Sweepstakes, and then let me know on Twitter, why do you like this TV and what's your favorite feature of this brand new LG 4K TV? And that's it. The reason why you're following LG and myself on Twitter is because that's where the announcement will be made and enter right now and good luck. So if you're in the market for a new TV, the 7700 series is a fantastic choice. It's the first to offer both of the HDR standards, has great 4K picture quality and some awesome software to make it a great experience. It's thin, it's attractive, and this 55 inch model starts out at $1399. I would have liked to see some improvements in the gaming aspect for I did notice a little bit of input lag on my PS4. And I would like to see a little bit more IO on the back, maybe some more HDMI and some more sound options. And I would have liked to see full array local dimming versus the edge lit, but that's a sacrifice that you make for a thinner panel. Overall, I think that this is a fantastic buy and I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right guys, well that does it for me. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for I have some other TVs that I'm reviewing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you to LG for sponsoring this video. But of course, all of the opinions are my own and make sure you enter the giveaway and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.